In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the N95 mask works, you know, why it's so effective, and then I will be comparing five 3M N95 masks that my wife and I have had personal experience with. The N95 mask filters extremely small particles very well, even at 0.1 microns. To give you an idea how small that is, COVID-19 is about 0.125 microns. It's able to do that because it, particles that size travel in a zigzag pattern, which is called Brownian motion, so the particles are more likely to come in contact with the fibers of the mask. There is also an electrostatic charge put into those fibers, so they attract particles and hang on to them. Kind of like the same principles when you're trying to remove some types of clothes from the dryer, you know, how they tend to cling together. The N95 mask also filters large particles well because particles that are larger in size tend to travel in a straight line. And they are also then more likely to come in contact with the fibers of the mask. And the same principles apply. It's that middle part, 0.3 microns up to the large particles, where it's more of a challenge for the mask because particles that size tend to travel with the airflow. But because the technology put into the masks, it's able to filter 95% of those. And that's what the N95 stands for. N stands for non-oil based. Now for my sources and for more information about what I just talked about, please go to the description below and I have some links there for you. We added N95 masks to our preps years ago. Uh, we even have them in our bug out bags. We want to be prepared for the possibility of a pandemic and, uh, and also to be able to filter larger particles out of the air for different kinds of uh, uh, emergency scenarios. Now, I've replaced them over the years as they expired, and the last time I replaced them was in 2018. And so we, we were well prepared for COVID when it came, and we haven't even had to use a cloth mask. We don't even own one. It's all been N95 for the last couple of years. And because we've used them so much, we both uh, gain different preferences, and I want to share those preferences with you as I review and compare these masks to give you more information to help you decide what you might want to buy for your preps. Um, so, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the 3M8511 N95 mask. The 3M8511 N95 mask is a very popular mask. It's used in a lot of different industries. Uh, one reason it's so popular is because it has this exhalation valve on it. Uh, in fact, 3M makes quite a few masks with this valve. Uh, what happens is when you exhale, a lot of the air will exit the mask uh, through the valve. The valve closes and then you inhale filtered air. Now the idea behind that is it keeps it drier and cooler, uh, makes it more comfortable um, to wear. Also, some people have said that it makes it a little easier to breathe as well. Uh, if you found that you can't wear an N95 mask, it's too restrictive. Um, you might give it a try uh, and, and see if this would work for you. I, I would talk to your doctor first about that though if you're having a hard time breathing and, and using an N95 mask. Uh, so after talking uh, with your doctor about it, it might be a solution, just an idea. Now my wife can't wear this mask because it interferes with her glasses. And uh, I only wear it for one reason and that's when I'm doing yard work because of in, in the summer when it's hot out, it keeps it a little cooler uh, because I, I have allergies. So that's, that's the only time I'll use it. So let me uh, show you what this looks like when my wife wears it so you can see how it might interfere with the glasses. But like I said, um, they do make other masks with, with, uh, with this valve that might work for you. Okay, so my wife won't wear this mask because it's, it's very uncomfortable, she says, and um, she can't wear the frames behind the mask. So it sits kind of far out and then up. And she's got bifocals here, so it makes it very difficult to um, see. Now regarding COVID, some people are concerned uh, about people wearing these masks with these exhalation valves because if they're sick, they could spread the disease. Uh, so I'm going to read something to you that I found on uh, uh, the CDC site as well as the 3M site. Same, same uh, paragraph, actually. Uh, as source control, findings from NIOSH research suggest that even without covering the valve, N95 respirators with exhalation valves provide the same or better source control than surgical masks, procedure masks, cloth masks, or fabric coverings. In general, individuals wearing NIOSH approved N95s with an exhalation valve should not be asked to use one without an exhalation valve or to cover it with a face covering or mask. Now be sure to check um, the site. I'll put, I'll put a link down below for this. Be sure to check the site out, um, you know, once in a while to make sure that these are still the uh, 
the uh, guidelines uh, for um, this type of mask. The next mask I want to talk about is 3M's 8210 N95 mask. Now this mask is a very popular mask. It's used all, in a lot of different industries. It's, I've seen doctors and nurses wear this mask. Uh, I use this mask and uh, it has a little metal strip right here so that it'll seal really well around your nose. A uh, little, little foam here makes it a little more comfortable. And, uh, the straps are made of rubber and they are really tight. These are really tight right out of the box. And you need to stretch the straps a little bit before you put them on. And, and that's uh, what the directions say. You should always read the directions in the, with these masks that come with it in the box for precautions and everything. And it says right in there, stretch out the, uh, the strap so that it fits appropriately so they don't snap and, and uh, break off. Now they're heat welded on right here. So in other words, they're not stapled. And I, I like that better. And out of all the masks that I've used, these masks, um, I haven't had one break at that weld. But all of them uh, broke on me just above, on the top strap, just above that weld right here um, at, at, at before I was ready to throw the mask out. It's not because it's a flawed mask, it's because I'm not wearing it the way you're supposed to. This is a disposable respirator, like all of these. You're supposed to throw it away and then, and then put a new one on. But because it's, it's hard to find sometimes uh, and, uh, and expensive, um, I will, well, along with a lot of people, will reuse these over and over. And, it, and of course the straps will eventually break. You're not supposed to use these over and over. They will degrade the, um, the effectiveness of, of the N95 masks. So, you know, it'll, it'll, uh, the moisture from your breath will break down the fibers and, uh, and possibly even affect the electrostatic charge, which you found out earlier is, is really important uh, in, in these masks. So, um, you know, if I'm going to reuse them, I'll put a fresh one on if I plan on being in a high-risk COVID area. Um, now, there are, at least a year ago, there were counterfeits out. Um, and so, th you know, the people were faking these masks and uh, they were not authentic 3M masks. So, 3M, has this right here. It says a 3M safeguard. If your box says that, then uh, you can go online and, and find out if it's an authentic 3M mask. And if it doesn't say that, I, I've called them. And I'll put the phone number in the description below and the website. But I've called them and, they, and gave them the number on it and they authenticated it for me. I've never seen a counterfeit mask. So um, now as far as comfort's concerned, um, they're extremely uncomfortable if you wear them long term. I, I like the fit, I like the tight fit myself, but uh, I won't wear it long term. Uh, my wife won't wear it at all. It, it's just too uncomfortable for her. So um, that's something to keep in mind because um, it, 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 I get all red right here. So I'm going to show you in a minute what, uh, what mask she uses exclusively and what I wear uh, long term. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going I'm to show you what this looks like when I'm wearing this mask. Now this is the mask that I prefer. It's an 8210. It's uh, it's snug and it uh, it's comfortable to me unless I have to wear it long term. Then I wear the other ones that my wife wears. But uh, as you can see, I can wear my glasses with these just fine. They don't ride high. The last three masks I want to talk about are 3M's Aura masks. I don't know how to pronounce it for sure, but uh, they're spelled A U R A. And this particular model is a 9205 plus and it features blue, very stretchy rubber uh, straps. The next mask would be the uh, Aura 9210 Plus, and it has braided straps. And then finally, the third one is an 1870 Plus, red, uh, very stretchy straps like the first one I just showed you, except this one's approved by the FDA as a surgical mask. Uh, because it's a fluid barrier. Now we don't need a fluid barrier, so we don't even buy this mask. But I want to show it to you because uh, you may not be able to find the other two, and I've seen this one online uh, occasionally as well. So now the reason my wife wears uh, this mask exclusively is because it's so comfortable, and same reason I wear it if I have to wear one for long term. Uh, and one reason it's comfortable is because it's so stretchy. Now. For me, it's a little too stretchy. It, it leaks on the bottom here, just a little bit. So I prefer the 9210 with the braided straps. It's a little more snug fit on the bottom, a little bit tighter fit. 
The other reason it's so comfortable is because it has the metal straps in it, right? The metal piece right inside here uh, is softer than the 8210. You can form it around the nose easier. 8210 is more like, uh, like this. This one, you can kind of form it easier. Uh, so it makes it more comfortable. I think they get away with having a softer metal there, in my opinion, because the mask hinges. So as you speak, it doesn't pull so tight. Uh, that's just a, an opinion here. The material on the inside of where the metal is, is, is like a, a, a very spongy, um, a spongy foam. It's different than the 8210. It's really comfortable. They're designed for people who uh, also wear glasses because they're low cut on, on, on here. I'll, sh I'll show you when my wife wears it. She's going to show you wearing glasses. And uh, also, they're... Um, they're designed to uh, to prevent uh, glasses from fogging, and uh, they do it a couple of different ways. But uh, one way is that when as you exhale, the air tends to go straight and then downward. Um, it it fogs once in a while, but it's, it's no big deal. It's just you know just tighten it up again. So um, they come in these these sealed bags. It's a feature I really like. Uh, we, we had a refrigerator delivered to our house, a new refrigerator, and the, the delivery people had these gator masks on, their nose exposed and completely useless. And um, so, so I, I left these out for them and asked them to wear these masks. And they had no problem doing it because they're sealed. And they got a free N95 out of it. I've got boxes of these. So um, let me show you what it looks like inside. Uh, my wife keeps these in, in, in the glove box, in her purse. I keep them in my uh, pockets when I'm wearing my, 80, my 8210 mask. And the straps break or something happens, I'll just pull out this mask and make sure my hands are clean. They, you don't want to contaminate your new mask. And, uh, and then I have more masks available for me to wear. This is the mask that my wife prefers to wear. It's the 9205 Plus. Um, as you can see, with their glasses, they fit. They, they don't ride high like the, like the uh, 8511. So it's more comfortable for her. Let's see, I'm going to turn a little. And it seals down here nicely for her. And it's, it's comfortable. Open your mouth and show you how it, see how it hinges. So it doesn't really pull too tight right here and keeps, keeps it sealed. People have asked if the KN95 mask is the same as the N95 mask. And they're not the same. The KN95 mask is made in China and has not been approved by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, which is NIOSH. The N95 mask has been approved by them. Uh, uh, NIOSH is also part of the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, the CDC says on their site, and I'll post a link in the description below, that 60% of the KN95 masks that are out there are actually counterfeit, so um, beware. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, useful, uh, mildly entertaining, please like it, subscribe, and, uh, and maybe share it. Uh, again, thanks for watching and have a great day.